One of the details that we definitely need to add to the plans, sections, and elevations of our project is the legends, especially for windows and doors. These legends are very important because they provide us with all the necessary details related to these components, including the number of them, the size, and also the material. In this video, we will learn how to create door legends and also how to present them. So let's start. To create any type of legends, first we need to create the legend view. For this, we need to go to the view tab and from this part, you need to click on here and create a new legend. Change the name and the scale if you want and then click on OK. Go to annotate and the legend component and in here, I will go to doors category, this part. And now I'm going to just simply add some of the doors that I used. Let's add this one. The view is on floor plan, so we have it like this. I'm going to place it in this part and then I'm going to switch to elevation and I will add another one to here. Perfect. Now let's also make sure that they are aligned. I'm going to go to annotate and use this detail line and create a line in here. And then I'm going to just simply align this line with this part. Now, if I select this component and go to the view section, we can't see any 3D view in this part. But there's a way that you can add a 3D view for your components. So I'm going to just copy this in here. And then if you have PyRevit in your Revit, you can use it for changing the view of this component to 3D. You need to select the component and then go to PyRevit in here in the legend section. There's an option that says set legend component to 3D orientation. If you click on it, then you will have a 3D view of your component. Simply like this. Now to organize these components better, you can either create a table and put them inside a table or you can just simply set them next to each other and then add detail. I'm going to show you how you can create a table for these parts too. To create it, we need to go to annotate tab and we are going to use these detail lines. In here, you can change the line style if you want, you can create the styles that you want or you can use one of these lines. I'm going to use just this simple line and then I'm going to create a rectangle in here. I don't really like this green color. Let me just change it to this one better. And then I'm going to create some other lines. Again, we need to go to annotate detail lines and I'm going to use this line again in here another one in this part one in here this part is for the name maybe if we have any model or description we can add it to this part here is for the floor plan and this part is for this one elevation and the last part is for the 3d view if you want you can add even more details in here if you want you can add information about the material about the size about the exterior or interior type of component that you're using or things like this let me move them down to here so we can have some text okay in here we are going to add text so i'm going to create one in this part let's go with the number i'm going to move it here let's make it a little bit bigger maybe 2.5 and let's keep the color and the font let me also uncheck this underline i'm going to duplicate it now i'm going to just copy this for these parts let's change this one to name this part to maybe description or comment this part should be the floor view. Then we have the front elevation. And at the end, I'm going to copy it again exactly from the same point for the 3D view. One more text for this part. And we are going to call it door legend. Perfect. And I'm going to 
move it to this part let's make it a little bit bigger and now i'm going to move these parts to here this should be in this part in here and in this part perfect let's adjust them better i'm going to move them closer i probably need a little bit more space for the description so let's create it like this and also i'm going to move these two parts like this let's change the placement of this title too now i'm going to create another line under this part and now we can add dimensions i'm going to create one in here i don't like the size so let's go to edit type and duplicate it and let's change the size of the text to maybe 1.5 and also text offset to just one and okay this is much better again another one for the other side in here and okay also if you want you can add dimension for these parts for even more details from this part to here if you want also you can change the units of these dimensions i'm going to select one of them go to edit type and in primary units you need to click on this part and then uncheck this use project setting then i'm going to set it on centimeter and then use zero decimal places and okay and okay you can also set them on millimeter or feet inch units if you want now for these two parts i don't have any description for them so i'm going to leave that part empty then i'm going to just simply copy these parts in here the number will be 01 and for the name i'm going to check the name of this component in here wooden door number five so i'm going to just write it in here perfect now if you want to fill this door legend faster you need to select this line 3d view front elevation floor plan the name and the number and then just copy them exactly from this point to here switch this front elevation to the other type maybe this one and then change the floor plan to the same type and also you need to switch the 3d view to the same type but then you need to go to pyravit and also click on this set legend component to 3d orientation so you have the 3d view of the component in this part you need to change the name first this is the metal door so i'm going to write it in here and the type is number two also update the number to number two and simply like this you can fill the legend as you want now after you fill the legend you can create a new sheet i'm going to create new one just to show you how it works and in this part you can just simply go to the legend section and then drag the legend that you created to here then if you have any related information to these doors you can add it to this sheet too for example i have these door schedules in here which i want to add to my sheet i just need to simply drag it to here and then place it somewhere near the legend and perfectly like this we have all of the details and information related to the doors all together in one sheet if you want to learn how you can export door schedules perfectly like this make sure to watch this video and don't forget to like and subscribe if this video was helpful for you. See you soon.